hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This one is still my last one. You saw me playing Minecraft for PC, and I mentioned how I was, uh, I originally have played this game via the PS3 version. Well, now we're gonna take a little spin around my, uh, world that I built in PS3 land. So, obviously it's less advanced than the PC version, but that's okay. They added new stuff with an update recently. Or at least, I had taken a break from Minecraft for like six months, and then when I came back, updates, which had added a lot of stuff, like horses and other things and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, right now I've turned mobs off, but in the next episode I'll turn the mobs back on, and we'll see what the game looks like normally. I haven't actually played with the mobs on for a while. My, my game here tends to be like me just building stuff for a long while, so... You know, I, mobs aren't as important to me, but I guess now there should be some materials that I should find by killing mobs and stuff like that, so I should probably turn them back on after I do this episode. This episode, I think I'm just going to take a spin around my land, my kingdom, my rogue land, and you get to see what it looks like. Anyways, load. Stackable fences are in the game now. Good, good. Let's see where they put me. I forget where. I am at the moment. Hmm. Oh yes, right now I am in a village, as you can see. A village which I'm doing a lot of stuff in. Like, that's mine. This is mine. That's theirs. This is some of my other stuff, but... Right now you have the beginnings of what I think is going to be a hotel of some sort. I don't know how exactly, but I decided I wanted a fountain, but the water didn't properly react over here. It kept flooding this entire area, so I just was like, uh, it kind of looks like a cactus, and it's in the middle of the desert, so, you know, there's a fountain there, and then I just put two torches up there. Eventually I'm going to replace it with a glowstone, probably at the top. So... This is the entrance to my hotel, which is unfinished at the moment. It's only got the first floor done. Well, it's got a basement and the first floor. And the first floor doesn't have all its flooring yet because... Uh, so many trees. I have to chop down so many more trees. This is what, birch trees? Okay. So, here's a hotel which connects to the second floor of this other building I built a while ago. Which... Uh, I guess I tried to call it like a gym of some sort. I actually never got around to filling this floor with anything aside from the basic structure. But if we go downstairs, we have stuff going that way. This is supposed to be like a locker room of some sort. I haven't put anything in it yet. I'll figure out what I want to put in eventually. Uh, and then there's the other locker room over here crafting table in there, because I use that to just, you know, put together stuff. And then double doors, which lead you inside this big giant area, which kind of resembles a basketball court, right? It'd be kind of cool if I had, like, a basketball game in here, but I don't yet. I'm only really starting to learn how to fill the redstone in things, so maybe I can put some sort of game in here using pistons or something like that. Who knows? There's the back doors which go out into this beautiful desert. Okay, so that's the gym and the hotel. And then I'm trying to think which one I want to take you now. Uh, I guess I'll take you this. Not that way. Uh, I've got the hotel. Where am I going? Oh, yeah. So then if you go down, there's two of these staircases that lead down. There's supposed to be like more locker rooms, quote unquote. So I laid you down. Another locker room of some sort. Haven't put stuff in here. Need to. I built a lot of structures and then kind of just be like, uh, how do I interior decorate? And I don't know. And then that leads you to a pool. Which doesn't have that much yet. It has... I actually built the bottom so it's like... It goes from a shallow end to a deep end. And look, a diving board of some sort. And go away! I'm in a pool! Let me swim, 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 swim. 
Off I go. All right, so that's the pool. And then this is another house I built. It's actually, I'm remodeling this one because I put another portal in here, so. See, another portal. Glowstones. So I kind of had to, and then I kind of had to chop around the house to farm sand building operations. Let me close that door. Do do do. But yeah, this used to have more sand around it, but I literally just chopped everything down <laughs> till I hit bedrock, hit this wall structure. I was like, oh, okay, I need to stop digging now. Uh, so there's carpeting here and more carpeting, and here's another wacky house of mine. Pretty simple right now. Do I have anything in here? Nope. Uh, anything important in there? There's some wheat and some wool and some cactus. Uh, don't need any of that right now. Okay. So that's my desert house, or one of them. There's also one in the village I use. And then I built roads, places too. And a bridge made of cobblestone and sandstone. Because I'm building a bridge, it doesn't have to be horribly complicated. This leads to another village, which I actually have not really put anything in here, so it's as is. This is called South Star. This is South Star. So that's South Star. It's a village. Haven't done much to it. I think I may have ransacked it of it, the books and some other things, but. Hi, villagers. I don't want an emerald right now. No, go away, farmer. So that there, and this way goes to two more villages. One's called North Star, and the other one's called Triple Cross. Yeah. Don't ask me why I named these things, but I just decided to name them those. <laughs> what is Triple Cross? Triple Cross is something I've heard from a song. I think from New Zealand's national anthem, maybe. <laughs> so if I go this way, eventually it branches off into two roads. Going straight will lead me to South Star and Going straight from this sign, we'll go to Triple Cross. Going left, we'll go to North Star. That way it's back to South Star and Green River Junction, which you have not seen yet. So, Triple Cross. Quickly go this way. Do -do -do. Really need to build something like railroads in this town. I haven't gotten to that yet. Like, I've explored everything on this in this map. Because, if you notice, uh... PS3 worlds are really tiny. Okay, well, I have that little tiny bit of the corners there, but... Psh. Oh yeah, this is my dude. Hey, dude. Tuxedo guy in metal armor. Okay, cool. No, I need to run. Okay. Let's pickaxe. Although I have to, don't have to worry about monsters right now, as I said. I generally just spend here and time here building stuff. Which I guess is both good and bad, because, you know, I got used to being a very peaceful world with nothing wrong going on. No monsters. So this is Triple Cross, a randomly generated town, which is true. You'll notice that when you get to points like this, and there's like roads randomly sticking weird, weird places. And they have these tiki torches that no other village in my world has. I don't know why. Hello, Mr. Guy. Hello, Mr. Guy. Butcher. Hey, what are you offering for raw beef? Hmm. Maybe. I have to kill more cows. Oh my god, melons. Oh, jeez. I might be back for you. Because I don't have melons in my farm. Wait, do I have anything I can get for an emerald? I don't want an arrow. Do you want, do you want something? You want arrow. Chicken. Arrow. Arrow. 
What do you want? What do you want? Okay, I have to go kill cows. Hmm. I think I have some emeralds back in Green Arrow Junction. Cookie. No, I want melon slices. Okay, so guy who all has melon slice is here. In this town somewhere. I need to get an emerald. But what do you want? I want wheat. Oh, you want wheat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, wheat will grow back anyways as soon as I... I'm gonna pillage their wheat right now. <laughs> but I have my own farm too. That will be later in the episode, you will see my farm. I don't have enough now, no I don't. Star or North Star, which is North Star, that's what it's called. And then go back to the other direction. Oh, a sheep. The one problem with this world I found is I rarely see mobs generate anymore because I have such a big farm in one part of it. I see lots of wolves, but I've been really trying to kill them all off recently. Well, not all of them off, but some of them off. So maybe I can get more chances of randomly generated mobs. Because at one point in my world, I couldn't find any chickens. None. Zero. Zipola. And I only had one chicken in my farm, and I was like, how do I breed these if I only have one chicken? Oh yeah, I also put a... I also put a giant arrow on the top of that one desert house I showed you. You can see it from all the way over here. That was Triple Cross. North Star is... North Star is to the left. So we'll go to North Star quickly. This, like, Triple Cross and North Star and South Star, I haven't really developed yet. I'm still working on the first town I discovered. These, as far as I know, are all the villages in my Minecraft world, this one. That's well... This is North Star. Okay, let's see, it looks pretty much like any other village. Yep. What to do? Wheat farms. They have a bigger wheat farm, I think. Do I have a hoe with me? No, I don't, so I don't really want to go Oh, and they have a cow here. I'll leave the cow alone. Oh, and there's a jungle there. I haven't gone there much yet. Or I have. Don't remember it. <laughs> it's like now I don't even need these roads anymore. I kind of do still because I still like them. I like I did this so I'd have an easy way of following a road to different villages. But now 
I can even see my landmarks from all the way over here. That's why I think the PC worlds are so huge. I'm like, whoa, what do I do with all this space? I've heard the PS4 version also has larger worlds, so that's cool. I don't have a PS4 yet, so... When I get that, then maybe I'll play Minecraft on all three platforms. Probably not. I'm probably just gonna stick to the PS PC version and this version. Because I can see the PC version can be pretty extensive. Yep. Offer infinite possibilities. As long as my PC doesn't start being more crappy than it already is. It's like a two-year-old computer that I built. So it could get do with a new graphics card and some more RAM and... No, I don't think I can I could switch the chipset, I think, maybe. The, the CPU, but I don't want to. Oh yeah, I named it. It's called Rockin' Bridge. Yep. Let's go for Rockin' Bridge. Back this way to Green River Junction. This is Green River Junction. Oh yeah, this is a recent addition to this town. So I needed a lot of green stained clay, as you can see. I have this, you know, part of the building here. So I created a cactus farm. Pretty simple. It looks like a, you know, like one of those desert graveyards or something like that. <laughs> Very simple. I don't think I'm gonna add any more structure around it unless I absolutely have to. Ow. I occasionally get hurt in it. <laughs> it's okay. And this. This, I'm not sure what I'm gonna turn it into. Probably some sort of multi-story building. I think it may be like a club of some sort. Or a restaurant. Mostly I'm doing this to cover up that I had a giant pit of, like, <laughs> evil. <laughs> yep. Dug out this lower level. This used to be pit where I dug out stone and sandstorm. Sand, sandstone. Like, it should be right here. See? Do I have sandstone? Yeah, I do. So I can refill this back in. We can go, we can go, wee! Right into my giant pit. Let me fill it back in. In fact, I can take stuff on here. <laughs> Never know when you need more sandstone. Well, actually, I will need more sandstone anyways. Because I have to work on my hotel. Eventually. Oh, I gotta be careful, though, not to collapse walls. I think the whole entire wall structure up there is stone, so it should be okay. Oh, yeah. Just I don't want stuff like that happening. I've been trying to eliminate unsightly messes in this town. Uh, I think that was my headphones telling me they're in danger of dying. Oops. And I just heard beeping in my ear. I was like, what is that? I think it's my headphones saying, I'm going to die soon. You need to plug me in. And I'll do that hopefully by the next episode. Which is coming up on that. So I can just finish showing you shit. But yeah, that's the big giant pit of me digging stuff out. But what am I doing? probably blocking a hole of some sort. Yep. So if I actually ever want to access this pit, I can come this way. But this outside, this is like a fair bit out of town-ish, so it should be okay. Alright, um, So that's the unfinished building. <laughs> and then going this way. In the village, I decided to capture this house for myself. <laughs> Which is okay. I mean, during the day, the villagers swarm it like crazy. They also build golems in this town. They're hanging around here somewhere. I don't remember where, though. Oh, there's a villager. Hey, Mr. Villager. He wants a bookshelf. I don't need one right now. See, they have, they have golems. So, going here. This is my workshop I use when I'm 
doing stuff in this town. Uh, is anything else I really want? Okay. How do I melon seeds? Oh my god, yes. I can plant melons now. I'm only missing carrots. And I don't know how to get carrots again in this world. But melons you previously had to find in like chests and mine shafts. And I actually haven't found any mine sh abandoned mine shafts in this world. So, it saves me the pain. Yeah, I actually don't want I can actually. Now I can grow my own melons. Yay! Is this, is this squidding? Oh, yeah, from attacking squids. Alright. Anything else I want one here? No, I don't want any of this gold or. Nah, not right now. So, yep, that's. This, this is Green River Junction. What else can I show you on this? Oh, gosh. Wait a minute, I've got 21 minutes, so I'm trying to keep this under 30 minutes to show you everything. Oh, yeah, I can't close that door without a switch. Okay, whatever. So that was Green River Junctions. This is the main town. It's mostly, I haven't touched anything. The only thing I changed really up there stuff was there. there used to be a door here, and I moved it over there because <laughs> I got tired of it. And this part thing over here, over here. This I wanted to be some sort of railway station, but they seem to be. The villagers seem to like congregating in here in mass, and I'm like, fine, take it. Enchanting. Oh my gosh, there's so many people in here. Cookie. Emerald. I don't know why they let the crowding in here. Because it's a big place for them to congregate and wait out the knights that don't have mobs in them now? Probably. Ooh, enchanted book. What do you want for that? A book and 44 emeralds. Oh my gosh. Why can't I just, like, uh. I guess, you know. Uh, okay, you guys don't really have anything I want right now. No! The door closed. And this is. Oh, hi, Mr. I. Glass. Yeah. yeah. Glass. So, you notice know, there's, there's sand everywhere. Make your own glass. What you do? You offer glass. You know, I can make my own glass too. But. S-rail, which is this thing here. This way goes to the sand caves. I don't think there's much in the sand caves. Oh yeah, I still have to show you stuff over there. I have a lot of stuff I've dug in around this world. A lot of markers that I forget do what. Like, that's a marker. That's just a marker saying, hey, my stuff is this way. Back when I didn't have these roads. I haven't developed much over there. So this is the S-caves. Not much to it. I built some sort of railway, but I haven't powered it yet. I need more redstone. And to figure out how to use redstone. <laughs> yeah, this is just more caves down that way. So that's one set of caves. I'm trying to think what else around here before I go all the way up north, where I can start doing things actually. so many villagers in there that the game is bugging out. Ah. So there's that. This is my big giant mine pit. Where I've just been basically mining out, you know, stone, sand, coal. Occasionally hit coal and iron. Maybe eventually I'll hit diamonds. Oh my god, you got stuck down there. You idiot. So always there, and then this way is the hidey hole. In the jungle there is a hidey hole. Oh, hello Mr. Sheep. This might also be a good thing. There might also be sheep- oh, this might be why I'm not getting mobs. It's because there's animals stuck in the jungle. And the fall killed him. You, though. Hmm. 
How did you get up there? And now you will die. No. Why are you not dying? Okay. So this is the hidey hole. This is basically when I first discovered that sand cave system you saw here. This was my little workshop. You know, to keep the mobs away. Is there anything I want to take? There's coal here. I can take that. Let's use more wood. And sure, let's take this fern. Can I take the furnace? Keep the chicken because then I have to start making chicken stuff. Uh, I could put this pickaxe in there. Sure, let's put the pickaxe in there. around here sometimes. So now we're going to go to my settlement up north, which is called Northburg Farms. You see, I originally wanted a railway system that went all the way over there, but I had to put the mechanisms in place. I haven't gotten around to doing that yet. It already took me, like, you know, several months to build this much stuff, so... be fun to have some sort of settlement in this snowy biome. Was this plains? Yeah. I think it's plains. Oh my gosh. Why are there so many fucking wolves? See, I kill them and they come right back. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. They're probably attracted to all my animals in my farm, so... Oh well, yeah, XP for me. Maybe in a later episode I'll find another one and finally tame the wolf, but not right now. Do -do -do. Yep, and this 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 was I think this is where I first spawned anyways, so it's close to like right close to like a coal system, mine systems where there's lots of coal and iron and stuff. It's really big, actually, this way. It's like, sometimes when I'm digging around here, I actually hit, hit a cave and fall right down. That's why I'm scared of turning on actually dying again. <laughs> so, uh... This is Northburg Farms. I've used snow in this decoration, but I've also have sandstone. And here we have... Farmland, farmland... Trees, cocoa beans, more farm stuff, pumpkins. I might keep these pumpkins. Maybe I'll turn this little plot into melons or over here into melons. Hello, Mr. Chickens. I'm gonna 
actually going to mate some of you and make more chickens. Yay, they made a chicken. And they left eggs everywhere. Oh, and I can't pick them up right now. <laughs> But yeah, that's that farm systems here, farm plots there, tunnels in case I don't want to use these doors because there used to be like this used to be my main pen. They used to be filled with animals, and I was like, how do I get out? I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig these tunnels. But sometimes the chickens and stuff fall for the tunnels if I'm not careful. Oh no 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 no! no. Oh gosh. And that's about 30 minutes, because <laughs> it's auto-saving. Okay, let me quickly fill in this so they don't fall. So this is my sheep farm. Although, magically, I got a horse here when that update came. I have to find more horses. I haven't found any yet in this world. Hey, maybe I can breed some! So this is sheeps in this... What the hell did you get in here? I don't want you. Go away. sheep. Haven't died these ones. Yeah, this is how I got that extensive blue floor and extensive green floors everywhere. This, there's a mine in there, I think, if I don't too careful. Okay, and then I go this way, and... Pig pens. Other pig pen. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Look at that, guys. here and cows yeah I should build bridges or something maybe later and this is two more farming houses ow this is sugar cane as you can see, there's lots of sugar cane in here. And this I just recently built, which is my automatic wheat farming mechanism. I don't have anything planted right now, so I can't show you. I should do that later. Not right now. This keeps the wolves away. I feel like getting into here and be like, oh, there's sheep in there. This is a back area, which has some castle-looking towers, Just one there. I actually haven't put anything in these towers, I think. I think it's just a tower. Yeah, it's just a tower. Tower! Whee! Tower there, tower there, bigger tower there. And then this, this is another... I just built this as a random pretty blue room, and I was like, what, what would I put in it? And then when I finally discovered nether portals, uh, I decided to put a giant nether portal in here. <laughs> oh god, no, don't go... No, I don't want to go into nether right now. And, you know, another bed. Oh gosh, keep me away from the nether. Don't want to go in there right now. Uh, is there anything else I can show you right now? Mm, no, not really. Well, I can show you the house. And this is my house. My first house. It's got an anvil. 
bunch of furnaces, crafting table, juice boxes. And then this way I've also recently built. This used to just be another entrance to another cave system, but now... Oh, why is that there still? Oh gosh, why did I do that? Now it's an enchanting room. And I can still access the cave system if I go this way. Should I do? I should cook food, plant melons. Okay. Cook food. Cook foods. Next episode, we'll do some farming. Okay? Cool.